to the story. Um, so 20 years ago, almost exactly, September 29th, uh, 1994, was the world premiere of Gargoyles down in Florida. I'm not talking about the first time it aired on television, but it was the first time that anyone outside of the small group of people like uh, who were working on the show had seen it. And they rented out two theaters uh, at this uh, multiplex on what they called Pleasure Island, which was an area at Walt Disney World. Um, and they brought all these press people in to see our five-part uh, pilot, which we had edited down into about an 82-minute movie, did you say, give or take, right? Yeah. Um, and even with all that press, these were big theaters, so they filled it out by inviting <coughs> local kids from around Orlando, Florida. And so one theater had all the press and a handful of kids. And then the rest of the kids were all in the second theater. So um, I was down there with uh, my boss, Jerry <coughs> Chrysler, uh, and three of our wonderful voice actors, uh, Keith David, who plays Goliath, Marina Sirtis, who plays Demona, and Sally Richardson, who plays Elisa Mazza. Um, and <coughs> As we were heading into the theater, my boss said, okay, Keith, Marina, Sally, you're with me, Greg, you're over there. I'm like, what? <laughs> and he's like, yeah, I'm gonna take them into the press room um, and, and uh, you go and, and I'll introduce the film over in the press room and introduce the actors and you go introduce it to the kids room. I'm like, the kids don't care about me. Can I have one of the actors? He's like, no. <laughs> um, so uh, a buddy of mine, uh, Bob Schooley, just happened to be in Florida on a family vacation with his uh, family, obviously, um, <laughs> at Disney World. And Bob is the creator, one of the creators of Kim Possible and has done Hercules and many great shows. Um, and Bob just had to be there, so I called Bob up and I said, come to the theater, come sit with me, because I'm terrified. And he, so he was a good sport, he came and we watched. So in this theater, they wanted the kids to be in a good mood, right? So they gave every kid a huge tub of popcorn, <laughs> an immense. That's thirsty work, eating all that popcorn. So they gave all of them a huge jumbo soda. <laughs> to all these kids with little tiny bladders. <laughs> so as you can imagine, throughout this movie experience that was Gargoyles, the kids are constantly getting up to go to the bathroom. Constantly. <laughs> what that means is they have, they're not really focused on the movie the way you'd like them to be. Um, we're not getting any laughs where the funny parts are. They're not really, they don't seem really into it. They sort of start talking amongst themselves. It's going very bad. And when it ends, there's no applause. They just sort of go, uh, and they sort of meander out. <laughs> now after the movie, there is a press conference, or supposed to be a press conference, in the other room. So I'm walking uh, towards that room, and it's gone so badly that my friend Bob says, um, uh, I'm gonna go now. I'm like, wait, you can't go now, I've got it. He's like, yeah, good luck with that. And he takes off. So I'm like dead man walking, going to this uh, world premiere press conference. And as I head that way, my boss's boss, Rich Frame, passes me, and he goes, hey, congratulations, I'd love to stay, I gotta take off. So I'm thinking that the congratulations basically meant like, yeah, this was a disaster, I'm getting out of here. Um, but as I go forward, I keep running into people like uh, Laurel Whitcomb, who handled our publicity, um, and then ultimately my boss, Gary Kreisel, and they're all congratulating me. And I'm like, oh, did it go well in your theater? And they're like, oh yeah, I mean, they laughed 
in all the right places, and there were moments when they actually gasped, you know, out loud, like the whole crowd, and and uh, and it was just, you know, the first. And when it was over, we got a standing ovation, and and they're like, uh, "How'd it go in your theater?" And I'm like, "Yeah, pretty much the same." <laughs> Um, so we went up, had the, uh, started the press conference, and Gary was talking about, um, someone asked a question about the themes of the show, and so Gary was talking about, you know, don't judge a book by its cover, and that that was a very important theme to us, and the idea that these ugly monsters were actually the heroes. And then this one woman raised her hand, and she was, and she was looking right at Keith David, and she goes, I don't think Goliath was ugly. <laughs> so needless to say, the reviews were very good, the press was very good, and, uh, and other than the fact that I've been telling this story all summer, no one knew that, uh, um, that the first screening was actually a disaster. Uh, and the fact that it was also the one with all the kids probably wouldn't have gone over too well either. But uh, anyway, uh, did you guys have anything you really definitely want to